Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. I want to take a minute and show you a video on one of the most popular installs we do in the Ultra Limited for Harley Davidson. So this is a 2023. Our customer Fletcher has brought it up from Alabama to have us upgrade his audio system. We're going to do some awesome things to it. We're going to take out this GTS radio and put in the Soundstream Reserve HDHU 14 SI. Much better radio, sounds so much better, faster boot times, custom gauges, a lot of benefits to that radio. On top of that, we're gonna do a huge Hertz audio upgrade with our Hertz SP4.900. 1000 watt RMS, 2000 watt peak amplifier in the fairing, Hertz SX165 Neo, six and a half in the upper fairing, going from that stock smaller five and a quarter to that bigger six and a half. Also upgrading the tour pack to our SV165 Neo mid base. So on your tour pack bikes, 14 and newer are ported into that tour pack on these rear speakers. They have great mid-bass when we use a mid-bass driver. So we're gonna be putting those Hertz speakers in the back as well. Hang out, we're gonna do a little highlight, show you about the install and let you hear it at the end. This video is brought to you by volunteeraudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley Davidson audio. From individual radios, speakers and amps to complete plug and play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support. And we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video so you can install it yourself and save money. All right, so I wanna go a little bit more detail on the parts we're putting in this Harley and talk about our stage four plug and play kit from Volunteer Audio. So first off, we're gonna start with the kind of heart of the system, the Hertz SP4.900. This is where we're gonna get our power. It's where we're gonna get all that extra volume and mid bass that most people want so badly when they're riding. But to get the best source going into it, we're gonna put that new Soundstream Reserve HDHU 14SI radio in place. We'll go over some more details on it later, but much better sound quality than the stock radio. We're gonna wrap those front speaker pods in sound skins. It's a sound deadening material. It's gonna give us better sound, better mid bass, make those enclosures even better in the front. We're gonna do the Hertz six and a half inch, the SX165neo. The SX series has the tweeter in the middle, excellent speaker, great full sound. Uh, and that tweeter is gonna give us way more than enough treble that we're gonna need. We don't need to add that in the rear where we're gonna go with our mid base. So SV mid base in the back, one set of tweeters in the front, it'll be plenty bright, trust me. This sounds so good together, it's one of our favorite systems. Now, if you've got an ultra limited like this bike and you started with the tour pack in the uppers, don't forget, you can do the liquid cooled lowers. We have kits to add those, as well as six by nines in the lids. And this one amp can run up to all eight of those speakers. So in the future, lots of upgrading could still yet be done and no extra money has been wasted. We're just gonna add to what we've already done. Now, when you buy the amp from Volunteer Audio in one of these packages, it comes with a complete plug and play harness that simply plugs in behind the radio. All the wiring is done. The gains on the amplifier are set with an oscilloscope. The crossovers are done with a CC1 crossover calibrator. All the parts we know you don't have the right tools to do correctly, we do here at Volunteer Audio ahead of time. Makes your install super, super easy. It also makes sure that we get full output of our amp at full volume on our radio, so you're not blowing speakers, and we know this is gonna last for a long time. Speaking about longevity, all of our Hertz speakers and amps are three-year warranty, even in Harley use. Yes, they're waterproof. Yes, they're gonna last, and we're gonna stand behind them. The Soundstream Reserve Radio is gonna have a two-year warranty, awesome warranty for a radio going in a Harley. Everything down to our power connectors is fully assembled by us before it ships. Fuses are installed, everything is crimped, everything's heat shrunk, everything is done beautiful. And in this particular install, we're also adding some grills. So our Hertz Street Glide grills, we make these at Volunteer Audio, they're not available anywhere else, and they are sold separate. So if you buy one of these packages and you want the, the nicer grills, you'll have to add those to your card or ask our salespeople more about it, as well as our Hertz uh, MPG1653 grills going on the tour pack. Same logo, same matching front and rear on this bike. So that's everything that's going into the build. So let's get to putting it together. All right, so we're to the point, we're gonna change out our rear speakers. Look how small, it's amazing the speaker has enough volume to hear it all. Uh, it is extremely efficient the way it's built, but no magnet, no power handling, no real ability to get that sound out. 
Now this is our Hertz SV165neo. It's got a neodymium magnet on it, so the magnet is still small enough to fit without any modification of the pod, but it will handle, this is up to 400 peak watts, 200 watts RMS. This is a pretty amazing speaker. It's gonna handle a lot of power from that big new amplifier. It's gonna be super, super loud while being extremely clear. So let's get this put in here. I just wanna show you just how small that little factory speaker is. All right, so we're not gonna reuse the factory hardware on the tour pack speakers. We're gonna take our speaker and we're gonna rotate it just slightly so we no longer line up with the factory hardware. And we're gonna take our self-tapping screws and go straight into the pod. We do that because the factory screws go into a little rubber bushing that is known to back out going down the road and you could lose a speaker. This is a much more secure way, a much better way to put your speaker in your, in your Harley tour pack. In your packaging, you're gonna get this black sticky putty stuck on this little piece of paper in the back side of the grill. Don't just throw that away, it's there for a reason. Take this sticky putty, kind of roll it up, and you're gonna stick it in this crack of this speaker edge where the grill goes on. This is just gonna help, not only is this grill now gonna be pressure fit, but there's gonna actually be an adhesive keeping it from vibrating off while you're going down the road. All right, make sure it's pushed all the way in. Looks great, and that putty's gonna make sure that it doesn't vibrate out. All right, so we're making good time. We've already got the rear speakers installed. Robbie's already pulled the radio, swapped the grills. He's got the front pods on the counter. I'm in the middle of prepping our sound skin. Sound skins is really cool. Uh, it's a self-stick, self-adhesive um, sound deadening material. What's awesome about these kits are, let's get it flipped around here, they're completely already cut out into every shape we need for those pods. So I'm gonna be tearing these out and getting all of our pieces ready while Robbie gets the speakers out. We'll prep it, put it back together, and very quickly, we'll have a much better sounding front speaker pod. Now again, just like before, those same tiny speakers we saw in the back are in the front, a little five and a quarters, we're gonna be putting these larger Hertz six and a half. Larger surface area means more sound. Bigger magnets handle more power. Overall, much, much better build, and Hertz build some of the best speakers on the planet. So this thing's gonna absolutely rock when we're done. All right, so tear out's not hard. You just find one of the pieces and just push along through here, and they leave just a small segment still connected just to keep it in a sheet while they ship it to you. This is definitely the best way for them to send it to you so that when you get it, all the pieces aren't just stuck together. So we're just gonna cut each one out or tear each one out. We don't even actually have to cut it and get ready to stick it on those pods. So while, while you're at this point, you're putting your sound skins on your pod, go ahead and take your T25 Torx, check each one of the screws for tightness on these pods. More times than not, as I check them, they're loose, and we want that tight so air's not leaking out of the pod also. Now, a lot of times people ask me, what does sound skins really do? How does it work? If we took a speaker and we set it out here on the counter and we hooked it up and we played it, it'd sound pretty terrible because a lot of what it's producing is vibration, and that vibration is being canceled because it's just sitting there and it's moving around. When we mount it onto a pod, we get a lot better sound by adding this sound skins to the outside of the pod now our pod is not resonating. It's not moving, it's not taking up the power we're producing, and more of the sound is getting transferred out. Definitely helps mid-bass and overall volume uh, because we're getting all that we're paying for is actually coming out and we're being able to hear it now. Definitely well worth the investment in sound skins. Very easy to install, uh, very, very simple. Glad we brought it in and made it available so everyone could use it. All right, all right so let's talk about radios. I have never, ever, ever in the 25 years that I've been doing audio in vehicles, whether it be cars, trucks, boats, whatever, the factory installed equipment has never been as good as a quality aftermarket unit that we install. This factory GTS radio is no different. To be able to get good sound out of it, we have to flash it. We flash it to fix a terrible factory EQ. We have to flash it to turn on rear speakers. We have to flash it to make CarPlay work. So many things we have to do by computer just to make it a usable radio. But once we flash it so that it sounds good, we have very, very little sound control. The bass, if you turn it up, just distorts, clips your amp, sounds terrible. The treble has very little change as well. So the factory EQ 
in my opinion, it's not worth anything. So pretty much after you flash it, what you get is what you get. And even though we use great amps and speakers and they normally sound phenomenal, even on a stock radio, we can make it sound even better with the Soundstream Reserve radio. So with the SI, we get updated, better thumb controls. One thing I really love on the thumb controls, I can mute the radio. I can also quickly go through my sources, which I can't do with the factory radio. Still has the cursor control in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so I can go through my apps. It also adds custom on-screen gauges, so about 50 different gauge options you can load up. Anything that the Harley Scan tool can see, it'll make into a gauge, as well as adding really cool track pack features like quarter mile times and zero to 60 times. Uh, additional, it has a camera input. If you want to add a backup camera, this will do it. Stock radio doesn't do that as well. But the big difference is the 13 band EQ. Built in high pass filters and low pass filters that allows us to control what goes to our speakers. So we don't have to send bass to a speaker that won't play it. So it will go louder and clearer, as well as having that 13 band EQ to tweak in the sound to exactly what we want. A lot of times we want to adjust maybe the higher end of the treble down, but not all of it. We can do that in this radio, but not in the stock radio. And with the current value of a used GTS versus the cost of the Soundstream, the Soundstream is a better radio, but it costs about what a used GTS sells for. So you can buy one of these, sell your factory radio, have better sound, and uh, really not cost anything. All right, so we've took our Hertz SP4.900 and we've just Velcroed it here on top of this amp tray. That's all that's needed. This amp's not gonna go anywhere. We use industrial Velcro, it works very well. I wanna talk about this connector. So a lot of people ask us about this plug. This is something we add to our plug and play amp setup. And this is a traditional, what we call backbone connector. If you had a 14 to 23 bike that had no rear speakers, this is in the fairing, and this is what you connect your rear speakers to. Now, if you have an Ultra with factory tour pack, or maybe even a CVO, you don't have this in the rear. So this allows you a place to plug in for rear speaker add-ons, such as six by nines in your lids, add-on tour packs, other things that you may wanna add in the future. If you're not adding additional rear speakers, just ignore the connector. All right, so we've got Fletcher's bike put back together. This beautiful Ultra Limited is ready for us to test and listen to the audio. But the last step in every install we do, and we do seven to 10 bikes a week that I personally install. Every single time at the end, I use a polarity checker like this. And we go to YouTube. We've got our own video at Volunteer Audio where we'll start this polarity test track. So once this is going, you'll hear some little pops and clicks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the polarity of the system. Let's check our front speaker. All right, so we got three green flashes and a red. Let's see if our back matches. Continue on the other ones. All right, so what we just found out is all of our speakers are in phase. When the bass hits, they're all gonna move out or in together at the same time, and we're gonna have much better mid-bass and much better fullness in sound. If even one of these speakers is wired opposite of the other ones, it sounds like it's all treble with no bass. Nobody wants that. Very, very cheap tool available at volunteeraudio.com. YouTube videos free to play right there uh, at our YouTube channel, Volunteer Audio. All right, polarity check's complete. Let's listen to something, see how good it sounds. Now we're gonna play some YouTube friendly, copyright free music. We're not allowed to play just anything we want, but I think you'll find out that this track has some really good low end, very crisp highs, and it just sounds really good. Headphone warning, put on some headphones or listen to this on your home audio system because your phone's just not gonna play how full and how much bass this system really has with these good SV165 mid basses in the back. So let's check it out.
wow, this is loud, it's clear, it sounds awesome. I can't wait for Fletcher to pick up his bike and let him check out just how awesome it sounds. If you'd like to get something like this done to your bike, maybe you want to get it where you can hear it while going down the road, like so many of you reach out to us for. Definitely reach out to us at one 844 audio You can call and talk to me, one of our other salespeople. We'd be happy to discuss your system, your build, your budget, the genre of music you listen to. We'll make sure we put together the perfect package just for your bike. Also, comment below with any questions you have in the video. We'd love to hear from you. I'll comment back as quick as I can. You can also watch our other YouTube videos, so definitely subscribe to the channel, Volunteer Audio, and you'll be able to see all the other builds that we do, and definitely like this video. Liking it is going to move us up in search standings. It's going to allow other people to find similar videos. If you want to see step-by-step -step exactly how this is done, go to volunteeraudio.com at the top of the page at the menu, select step-by-step -step videos, bring up your bike, road glide, street glide, ultra, what your range, watch step-by-step -step exactly what it entails to do this. It took me and Robbie about, I'll say less than two hours to do this bike. We do so many of them. And I'm thinking about before long, just doing a full live build for you on YouTube. So if you'd like to see a live build, if that's something you'd like to see just how quick people that do this hundreds and hundreds of times a year can do it, definitely comment below and let me know because we're, we're thinking about doing that pretty soon. But this is an amazing system. We're so blessed to partner with companies like Soundstream and Hertz that produce just such great products. So thank you so much for watching and all, as always, God bless.